I'm James Dean ever since 1955. This film you're watching right here is a 8 millimeter film from Mendocino, California where they filmed East of Eden. The lady that took the film was more interested in the trucks and the built the sign of Warner Brothers rather than the stars. Had she known that James Dean was going to be the star that he turned out to be, she probably would have focused on him a little bit more. As you can see, the, she took pictures of her townspeople and people watching the filming rather than the actors themselves. As I told you earlier, I've been collecting on James Dean since 55. My dad took me to see Rebel Without a Cause, and I guess I've been hooked collecting on James Dean ever since. Uh, there's a couple of the town extras in the film right there, and they're walking through the town. That's James Dean coming around the corner in his sports car. There is no still shots of that sports car that we're aware of. He had an MG before he bought his Porsches. Uh, been collecting on James Dean, mostly photographs for years and years and years. I claim to have the most photographs of any collector out there. I don't know if that's true or not, but I do have a lot of photos. And there's some more of the townspeople in the film. Uh, there's some more of the townspeople that are extras in the film. There's another one of the Warner Brothers trucks. You can see the person filming like they take pictures of everything but the movie actors. I got this film from a another James Dean fan named Ken Wilner down in Warren, Michigan. He had got it from the lady that originally took the film. She made several copies and there's a book out right now called James Dean and Mendocino and that person claims that he's the only one that has this film but the fans back in the 50s have, have had this film ever since she took it back in 55, right, right after James Dean died. And it's an 8mm film, all in color. You can see some, some more of the town people. There's the lady that played uh, the madam across the street. And there's you know, more town people, more extras, getting their pictures taken with some of the movie stars. Uh, there's Kazan, the director of the film. There's... Uh, Joe Van Fleet walking down the street. In a second, you'll see James Dean. Yeah. There's Kazan. They, from what we understand, they kept Joe Van Fleet walking back and forth, back and forth, until Kazan was happy with the way she got her stride going down the street. Some more of the townspeople. Sarah, Sarah and Legon did a documentary on James Dean that got aired on the Disney Channel. And from what I understand, that the person that thought he had the only copy in existence was trying to say that he had it copyrighted and was going to charge an arm and a leg. And I let the Disney Channel use it for some more unpublished photographs of James Dean. They... Let me go to the area. There's James Dean talking to Julie Harris with a cigarette hanging out of his mouth, his famous trademark. And when Sarah Legan contacted me, I told her I had this film. She said, well, the guy in Mendocino says he's the only one who has the film. And I, they took me out to California, and I showed her that I had the film, and they made a copy of it, and it was aired on the Disney Channel. I can't remember how many years ago that was. Uh, there's Julie Harris. There's James Dean sitting there getting ready for the starting of the filming. More of the townspeople. There's little Jimmy Dickens. I don't know what he was doing there, but 
he wasn't in the film at all and didn't do any singing for the film, but he was he happened to be there. I don't know why. And you can see more townspeople and more townspeople. You'll see James Dean's extra in there. Uh, has basically the same clothes that James Dean has. There's James Dean sitting there and Joe Van Fleet behind him. They're taking some still shots that are pretty famous nowadays. More talented people, more of the Warner Brothers trucks. You can see all the nice vintage automobiles that they used in the film. Is a little bit on myself. I've been collecting on James Dean for many years and my mom and dad wouldn't take me down to Fairmont, Indiana right away and I th threatened to jump on a train to go to Fairmont. This was in 1959 and of course my brother stopped me and he told me I was going the wrong direction to begin with and my mom and dad said we better take him down to Fairmont, Indiana or he's going to jump on one of these trains that's going in the right direction. So we went down to Indiana in 1959 and from where we live in the middle of the state of Michigan to Fairmont, Indiana, it was a two-day drive. There was no expressways back then. And you're on two-lane highways, and we had a 1954 Ford. But it was a fun trip. My mom, my dad, my grandma, and myself, we finally got to Fairmont, Indiana. And we were in the cemetery looking at the tombstone. And there was a gentleman standing there, and he had holes in his T-shirt. and. My grandma says, do you happen to know the Winslow's down the street? And he said he did. And she said, well, do you think they would talk to my grandson? He's a James Dean fan. And he said, well, I'm a Winslow. I'm the one that raised James Dean. And we talked to him for quite a while. And we went down to the house. I met Mark at that time, 1959. Didn't meet Hortense at that time because in 1959, uh, the death of James Dean was, you know, still pretty fresh in everybody's mind and she uh, you know, didn't really care to talk to any strangers on that particular day. Went to the grandma and grandpa's house and she brought out tons and tons of photographs of James Dean and showed me and I think that's probably what led me to try and get as many photographs as I've got today because the grandma just showed me photo after photo after photo. And on the film here again, there's some pictures of James Dean again and some more townspeople. Uh, I go down to Fairmont almost every year now. I got to be pretty good friends with Mark over the years. I still like to collect pictures. I collect pictures off of the internet, get pictures off of eBay. You'll see James Dean swing across on the rope filming of East of Eden when they're doing the gymnasium scene when he tries to borrow money to go into the bean business after his dad lost so much. Uh, if you've seen the movie East of Eden and his venture of trying to freeze cabbage and sending it across the state. There's James Dean swinging across on the rope now. Uh, I wish the lady that took this film would have concentrated a little bit more on James Dean, but as I said earlier, she had no idea he was going to be a star. He's just seeing he was just coming out from behind the curtain. <laughs> well, at one time it was to get as many photographs as I could. And then I went to the University of Southern California and looked at the Warner Brothers archives of other photographs. They were so protective of the pictures, they take your wallet and your driver's license and everything and you can just look at them. And at that time I could purchase them. Well, he had been dealing with a lot of James Dean fans that would only buy one photograph. And I asked him how many I could buy, and he said, well, how many do you want to buy? I said, I'll buy as many as you'll sell me. And he ended up selling me 34 pictures, which I guess that was pretty good, but I would have liked to bought a lot more. And at that time, they were only $10 a piece. But since then, the University of Southern California will not let anybody buy the photos no more. 